what's going on riders? It's Paul with uh, this week's Ride Home Review. And uh, this week I watched Wind River. And Wind River stars Jeremy Renner, Elizabeth Olsen, Graham Greene, and is directed by Taylor Sheridan. Now the movie is about a fisheries and wildlife officer who had stumbled across a deceased body of a young Han uh, Native American woman and which in turn brings in the FBI and all this other stuff and you know um, basically a manhunt and then it goes into a little bit of history of this fisheries and wildlife officer and his deeper connection to this murder. Now, what I really liked about this movie, first of all, I'm a, I'm a really big fan of this director. Uh, I love how he really, uh, really plays with this. It's just a great story, and I love how he brings his characters, gives them instant depth without doing a whole lot of backstory. He allows the story to unfold and the characters to develop throughout the entire movie and just by subtle dialogue, just by, uh, you know, you know, just in the whole form of the film, and you just the characters really get a chance to, and the actors really get a chance to play up to this without everything being laid out. It's almost like being inserted into real life. I also like how he has a similarity with the Coen brothers in which he really, uh, uses the environment as part of the whole piece, um, how it's how it plays a whole part, and how it's almost like a character in itself. And the cinematography was was beautiful, was just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not sure if he uses the same cinematographer each time, but it's really enjoyable to see. Uh, this story unfolded. It's a great story, and the pacing of it is it was really great. And I must say, the performances were were top notch. Um, and so, it just—I don't know what to say, other than the fact that this was a really well done film. Um, what I didn't care for the movie is. Uh, it, with a lot of movies nowadays, sometimes it's hard to end it, and I think it the ending um, went on a little bit long. He could have paced it a little bit differently. I see what he was trying to do, but I felt that after that that tenseness of within the third act and the climax, it kind of was more of a deflation. But that's being a little nitpicky I really recommend this film it's really good and uh, what to watch for well uh, one of my favorites who I was glad was in the film Graham Greene um, of course brings his his flair for the character and whatever comic relief can be had in situations that these characters are in uh, he brings it and but also brings the character of of the community with him so I highly recommend this film it's intense uh, the director is really good at that at the tenseness of certain scenes and he plays it out and knows exactly how to push your buttons and what's going on there so I, I highly recommend people go see this film it's really great his other work with Sicario and uh, Hell or High Water um, those are really excellent films. So there you have it. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. I'm doing some regular stuff on Facebook. See if you notice. And so that way, if you do notice, you'll see what I'm going to be watching next week. But other than that, I think thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and comment on this video. And I uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Have a good one.